So hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today is once again the clash day and the big clash day because in this video you will hear my review for the new V2 version and I have here the Pro version, the 100 Pro, the 100 and 100 L. So I believe these three versions will be the most favorite among players and uh, I will start with uh, with a let's say a little bit of history because the clash was a revolution in mid 2019 and when I reviewed the clash I was amazed by the feel by the free power and also by the unique sound these records created the wooden sound so it was so satisfying hitting with these rackets when you hit the ball really nice in the sweet spot you've heard the wooden sound it was like crack a cracking sound and I really enjoyed that it gave me a more confidence on the court it gave me a little bit more advantage over the opponent because when I was hitting really hard the sound was louder than my opponent's shot so it's something that is also connected with the let's say psychology and it really helps you to play better and to hit harder and this also is the case for the new V2 but the other things did they really change for the v2 no no it's still the clash we remember but it's little bit refined in some minor details that take these records into more advanced level more serious level of players so when i was hitting with the clash v1 i felt great but at the same time I was like okay I can play with these rackets I, I have fun but probably I don't want to have them uh, during a competition during a real match I believe I, I mean real tournament match because sometimes I felt like the balls were flying all over the place and I struggled with the precision but as you already know from the specs something new has happened to the 98 version and to the 100 pro version they've added one extra cross string so the string pattern is now 16 by 20 and this really helps to make the ball more more control oriented or to, to put more control in to the stroke and you actually don't lose that much spin spinning with these rackets is great it's easy really easy spin the ball goes deep and goes also high over the net but after after that it it, it, it comes down and it hits the place you won so the precision got really better and at the same time the stability is better because the flex the stiffness for this racket is no more that extreme the flex is no more at i believe at 55 but now it's around 59 or 60 ra so it's more to the let's say the traditional frames still it's very flexible it is very i believe very arm friendly racket but with uh, more stability that will help you in some situations and uh, let's talk about the the individual version so the 100 pro a clear victory for me so the best rackets from these three so 310 gram but the balance is 
way way to the hand so you won't feel that at all but the swing weight is actually around 325 or 326 which is quite a lot and man from this racket the ball flies so fast i could overpace my faster opponents that usually play faster than me but with this racket with the 100 and pro 100 pro version i played faster than them and they told me wow wow you play really fast they couldn't believe it and when they tried the racket they felt the free power but also the control was uh, surprising for this amount of power so yeah I believe that uh, the 100 Pro version can be used during tournament matches during team matches college etc so if you are more serious player who wants a little bit more free power than the let's say the standard frames with uh, the standard balance uh, and standard flexibility then give this 100 pro a shot because everything actually is there and mostly this will help players like i am light players around 70 kilos I'm 186 centimeters tall, so I'm a really slim guy. Not much, uh, let's say, uh, pure muscle there or big muscles, but I swing fast. And swinging fast with this racket is really easy and it helps. It's like whipping. So, yeah, I really like the 100 Pro version much better or let's say better than the v1 but the question is uh, should you buy it if you have the v1 of course if you have the money if you don't care about the money just buy the v2 it's a seamless transition it's transition it's really easy to to make the switch and probably you play better now after two and a half years with the Clash V1, so jumping into the V2 will give you a little bit more, once again, advantage because you will get used to the better stability and better precision really easily and you will welcome it with open arms. So yeah, the transition is really easy. But if you, if you don't have the money and if you, if you uh have a worm in your head asking a question is the v2 really that better than the v1 then probably save the money because there is not a i would say a revolution it's a slight evolution of the frame and it's a positive one but not probably that big that you should automatically go and buy the v2 and yeah uh just dump dump the v1 because i believe the v1 is still a great and fun racket so jumping into the 100 version the 295 gram version i would say it's like the 100 pro but much easier to play with much much easier control and uh, it suits mostly women, juniors, uh, maybe some advanced, really advanced uh, seniors, because the maneuverability, yep, it's there. Once again, the word I love the most, the maneuverability is there. It's super easy with the 100 version. It's super easy and uh it's really fast it's really fast but for me i felt like it struggles with the stability a little bit and that's why i think it's for mostly for women then there is the 100 l version and this can be used for almost any type of player who does not require the weight and the mass 
the swing weight, who just wants to have fun. Also for me as a trainer, the 100ml version was used a lot during training with children or with some beginners. So I switched to the 100ml version from the 100 Pro when I played with, uh, let's say, lower ranked players that uh, don't have the pace, they don't have the power and I just wanted to make, make my hand more easy during the training so the 100L version is also a good option for, for training, for trainers, for coaches and yeah for, for, for beginners or seniors or juniors who are transitioning from the 26 inch racket to the 27 inch racket so yeah the question what I like the most what I like the most about the V Clash uh, about the Clash V2 guys the volleys play on the net feels so easy but at the same time so powerful so powerful the volleys from the 100 Pro version are fast are in, con in my control and the feedback is great and I felt like I'm really controlling the ball even when the ball was coming at a very high pace at me I managed to, to finish the point I managed to play it in front of my body I was hitting the balls really easily and the volleys were just great what I did not like particularly was the serve the service was some kind of average or above average i'm i'm not sure why but i couldn't couldn't play as precise as i wanted but great kick serve with these rackets great spin easy really easy access to spin and nice kick so yeah guys and from the from the baseline yeah pure love pure love with the 100 pro version i could play fast i could play uh, uh, long long balls no short balls great feel for sliced strokes so yeah probably these are my favorite or the 100 pro is my favorite racket to go and maybe i like it even more than the boom pro because of the little bit of the free power and, and, and the more sensation so yeah a little bit thicker frame more power and I like that I play with thicker frames so the thinner frames feel sometimes too muted they don't have the power I need so maybe when I when I wait five six eight kilos more i could generate the power by myself but i don't i don't so i need a quite powerful racket so that's why i like the clash 100 pro v2 a little bit more than the boom pro so yeah guys there you have it so the 40 45 technology is there the same let's say construction of the throat of the yoke a uh, little bit wider sweet spot they somehow change the head shape so it's a little bit bigger they say six by 16 percent which is actually a lot but yeah i really didn't felt that that the sweet spot is bigger that than uh than than compared to the wii one version but yeah maybe it is possible so I believe it's a great update it's a great update not something purely new the new is the design with the embossed clash name on the frame which is really unique I like the color which is shifting a little bit on the Sun as you can see and yeah beautifully beautifully crafted records and I believe anyone can play with these Records, whether you are beginner, uh, intermediate, or more advanced player, even with some tournament ambitions. 
So great update from Wilson and yeah, I really like these rackets. So guys, if you like my review, click the thumbs up button. If you didn't click the, click the thumbs down button, of course you can. And thanks for watching, thanks for commenting, thanks for sharing. And if you like the review, buy me a coffee. You can find the link below in the description. So I, would, I will be very thankful if you do so. So guys, that's all for now. And whoa, I have one word, one final word. So today I will receive the new, the new Headspeed Pro and Headspeed MP. I'm waiting for the frames. They are coming to my house, to my flat today. And this will be the future review and future videos. So yeah, fans of the Headspeed Pro and Headspeed MP, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in next video. Bye guys.